Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Today is going to be exciting because we have apartment stuff. I'm currently sitting somewhere. You can see it in the corner. But before we dive into the video, I do want to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor, which is Lily Silk. Lily Silk is a brand that offers a ton of different silk products. And by silk products, I mean blouses. They have accessories. They have pillowcases and bedding. They have robes. There's so many benefits to silk products, especially your pillowcase, which I've been sleeping on for about a week now and notice huge benefits. If you have skincare, it doesn't seep into the pillowcase. It will stay on your face. I've slept better. I'm the kind of person that likes to like turn my pillow every so often because I like it to be cool and the silk remains nice and cool. I wake up without puffy eyes, without bedhead. It also prevents aging, which is super nice. Lily Silk is special and unique because it's affordable silk, but also made from mulberry tree, so it's good quality silk. The mulberry tree silk is the one that has a lot of the different beauty benefits that I just mentioned, all the way from your skin to your hair. And Lily Silk is super unique because they have a zero waste policy. So any unused silk goes to their accessories, they have scrunchies which look like this and they're so cute. They have all different sizes. I like the big ones or like the little small ones. So they'll recycle any like silk material into this. They have eye masks and stuff for if you're traveling. You just won't have puffy eyes when you wake up from your travel days. I have been using their pillowcase like I mentioned for about a week now. The texture is so beautiful. It's so soft, super breathable, and I love it. They also gifted me a robe, which is so freaking cute. It goes right above the knee, which I like. It has pockets. It's super, super flattering and very, very cute. The silky texture is just something you can't beat especially when you're getting ready. I feel so like luxurious when I'm getting ready now. They also have sports bras. So I got gifted this one, which is in black, but they also have it in nude. Um, and they have the padding here, which has a little bit of a push up, which is nice. And it is seamless. I don't even feel the bra, which is perfect. That's what we want. So the inner layer of the sports bra is made from 100% silk. It's lightweight, super breathable. I'm like so obsessed with silk now. I can't get enough. If you guys are interested in getting any sort of silk products, highly recommend the pillowcase. It is, like I said, it's a game changer. I wake up now and I don't even look like I was sleeping. I just look fresh and ready and I slept really well. Like there's just so many benefits. So I will link all their products, the ones that I just mentioned down below, as well as their site. They do have a promo code for you guys, RA12, which will get you 12% off your purchase. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the video now. Like I mentioned, I got something in the mail. I'm sitting at my desk, which I filmed a little bit of two days ago. I'm so happy that I finally have a desk. I feel like my full authentic self now. She is back, thank God. And it's just been really great. So I know some of you guys are kind of confused as to like why I'm getting temporary stuff because I do have another desk coming in April. Basically, I wanna get quality furniture that I don't have to really purchase over and over again. I wanna invest in some good pieces. So I have the pieces, but because of the shipment delays, they're just getting like, delayed and delayed and delayed and then I wait for the date that they're supposed to come and by that date they delay it again and so I just don't want to be stuck with no desk or living area space which I've done in 2020 and just like I can't do it anymore it's driving me crazy so I ended up finding this desk on Amazon like I said I'll link it down below I have the desk chair downstairs so we're gonna build that today um, I'll show you guys my setup so here she is. I love it. I can finally look out at my view. Um, like I said, the actual desk is from Amazon. It's really, really nice. The, the legs are really nice. It's very simplistic. I love the like lighter wood color. Um, put my desk here so I can look out onto the water. Got my phone holder. This is really cool. So you just put your phone like this and I can like work. It's just easier to like navigate. Um, I got that from Amazon too. I'll link that down below. Pretty sure I got this from Amazon as well. It's just like this marble pencil case. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I like it to be simple. Right now I have my bar stool. I'm gonna go ahead and grab actually the desk chair from downstairs and we can build that because uh, my legs don't really fit underneath the desk right now. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. What if I lost touch? What if I'll never get it right? I try to follow my heart, but I lost it somehow. Wish that someone could say it'll all be okay. Just, just. 
Listen to me as I say Listen to me as I Alrighty guys, it looks really good. It's super comfortable actually. It does have a little bit of detailing. You can't really tell, but I don't know. It'll do for now. It's nice. And now we have a desk. Now I'm just gonna sit here and work a little bit at my desk. Cool. A little mini editing break. I just got a Built Bar like restock and I've never had their puffs before, but they're basically like marshmallows, which is so cool. This one's coconut marshmallow. I also got a churro and a banana cream pie. And I'm pretty sure these are like, yeah, they're, they're still protein bars. So it's like 17 grams of protein in this. I love Built Bars. Look at that. All right, let's try it. This is better than the other one. Oh my god. Because it's a marshmallow consistency. It's a little bit like spongy. It doesn't get all in your teeth as much as like the other Built Bars. I'm impressed. All right, guys. I'm headed to the gym. Little gym outfit of the day. I got this shirt from Princess Polly, like any crop top. And then I'm wearing Gymshark, which I haven't worn in a while. I love these leggings. They're just like these yellow leggings that say Gymshark on them. And then this is like one of my favorite bras from them. Um, I will link them if I can find them. And I'm going to just... Do my thing. I think I'm gonna do legs and abs today and I don't want to record just because I want to actually enjoy it, throw on my headphones and just really focus on my workout. So I apologize, but we'll do like a week of workouts if you want, if you're still interested in that content. Those used to be really popular and I'm kind of craving filming one of those now. Let me know what you guys think. Off to the gym. All right guys, it's now like 4.15. Um, I'm on my way to my friend's house, like an old, old friend that I knew in like middle school. We had connected again. His name is Mike and he is so much fun. Again, I knew him as like middle school Mike. He had like a little awkwardness to him. And now he's like this like insanely talented dancer. He's like a adult entertainer, if you will. Um, he's like in the Magic Mike show. So he's definitely, like, he's, he's basically like a, a male stripper, but he's like good at it. Entertainer, he's like a performer. I went over to his place yesterday actually and got to meet his pups. So he actually has a show tonight. So I think that I'm gonna just like help him get ready for his show. I don't know what this is. I have no idea what's in store, but I thought I would take you guys along with me. He's totally okay with being on camera. So I'm like, if you're down, I'm down. So we shall see, but we are in route to go experience the beginning of the Magic Mike show. <laughs> oh my God, I have no idea what to expect. Come here. That's a famous dog right there, okay? I know, he's right so right sweet. Dave, that would do this. Anubis. It's a boy though, right? Yeah. Show them your beautiful face. Look at your beautiful face. I love him. Oh, he's just handsome. He's my favorite. The pit bull is really sweet, but this one's just like extra. He's like a Eeyore, kind of. A what? Eeyore, like the... Winnie the Pooh character? Igor. Eeyore. It's Eeyore? Yeah, it's not Igor. He looks like Eeyore because he just sits there and he's like, hmm. He just puts his head on you. But he's it's sweet. But he's sweet deep down, you know? Sad he's not sad. He's, he's sad. just. He's sad. He's just. Look at him. He just puts his head on you and doesn't move. Stop letting him watch what happens. Okay. Oh, what the heck? I thought you loved me. I thought that you liked me. Oh, you meanie. You're meanie. He's done with me. This is actually way cool. It's no, it's not. Look at the that. It so looks it's like. Not this thing. No, put that back on. They don't really, because now you can just see the lights. That's really cool. I just like the ceiling. That is, Mike. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what. Yeah, that's why all the people TikTok are wearing over there. This is like a lot of clothes for a stripper. Yeah. Business. I think it's already packed. I got everything I need, which is amazing. Tell me what what it is. All right, so I do a rainy men routine. A what? Yeah, like rainy men. It's rainy men. Where I like wear black pants, black um vest, da da da, trench coat, mm -hmm. not have an umbrella. I'd be like, yeah, it's rainy men. Like that's like pretty much my routine. I got knee pads for when I hump the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you wear shoes on 
Yeah. Stage? Yeah, your shoes. Oh. Have you ever been in a female strip club? No. Okay, well, they're not barefoot there either. What would you wear? Heels. If you were a guy. Socks. No? Oh my god, I cannot believe you just said that. <laughs> you broke the cardinal rule of all male strippers, which is don't dance in your socks like a loser. <laughs> really? They but your shoes have like holes in them. That's a wear and tear. That's from like dragging my toe like this. Um. What's the red? There was a burger too, that's a blanket. For what? Like I'll lay a girl on the blanket and do a trick. Really? This is like your to-do for my blog. No, like I'm, I'm like, oh, how to like make a coffee and, like, how, and you're like, how to be a stripper. <laughs> Honestly, a lot of stuff compared to what I thought. I, I thought you just had boxers. <laughs> Maybe it looked big. Oh damn. What like this camera? Sheesh. Did you see my muscles? I, see. I don't think they even match yours. Like mine are just way better wow. than yours. Wow, look at that. I don't know. Yeah, what do you guys think? I like this camera. Kind of like yellow. Um, you have to change the I change my lights to like white to light. Oh, let's go in my other bathroom. There you go. Wait, am I really actually doing this? Like, okay, now you could probably, like, just like a little... Wait, what do I do? Strands of hair. Oh. What if I, like, accidentally yeah, so cut you? Go like you? This. you go like this. You just kind of, like, scoop it. Okay. Scoop. Just do it for, like, a little bit. Just... Stop! <laughs> hey! Oh, I see. It's going away. Am I too gentle? Am I being too gentle? Yeah. Magic Mike prep. Do they call you Mike since you're Magic Mike? I mean, they call me Mike because that's my name, but... They don't call you the, the main part of the show? I don't think they necessarily say, hey, you're the main part of the show, but... But your name is Mike. You know what they do? They make the same dumb joke. Oh, like Magic Mike? I'm like, yes, like Magic Mike. This is the thousandth time I heard it. You're so funny, girl. That's fun. That's it? Your hair yeah. looks Cool. Show them your tattoo. This is like the most douchebaggy thing ever. <laughs> what does that say? I'm just gonna have to move it. Yeah, just says put toxic. It, bring it closer. What happened to like the magic mic? Like actually, no, you know what I just thought? Magic mic, like that's how I met you. Mm -hmm. You played magic, but you were so cute. You were like an innocent boy when I'm I met sure. you. Sure. Yeah, you were like this tall. Tell them your coin trick. The coin floating? Yeah, I mean, I mean, he had like a quarter, a quarter in between his hands, and there was like a fish line. You know, you only told me the, you were like, you whispered it, you whispered it in my ear, and I was like, I know. And everyone else thought I was like, saying, Because you're begging. You're like, please tell me, please. I shave her head. No! What is that? Steamer. Oh. Maybe steaming it up. Oh, we're steaming that? You're giving me such good content. Stripper content. Just like that? Yeah, but like, kind of like, keep it lower so the steam rises and hit it. Stay a little far away and then like, barely graze it. Oh, it's like a iron kind of. Mm -hmm. What? You never used a steamer before? No. Oh my god. This is fun. Okay, it this smells like it's burning. You don't. You don't press the button, by the way. You're not pressing. I'm not pressing. Oh, okay. You yeah. do it. I'm like, come on. Show, no, them, just, show them how to do it. Oh, you said not too close, and you're putting it literally right on. But yeah, but like, I don't stay there. Run it around, and then sometimes it'll be like a nice stroke where it's extra wrinkled. This is like an actual job. But is what you do an actual job? No. Yes, it is. Oh, it is? Yeah. People, well, honestly, I get the. I imagine the feeling when someone's like, you don't have a real job, though. I know, I get this. You no, know, they tell me that all the time. Yeah, keep going. Keep getting all the wrinkles out. Sure thing, boss. Do you want me to go on stage for them to call me Wrinkle Boy? <laughs> is that what you want? 
This is so much fun. Teach me your way. Teach me your way. That's all I need, Mike. All right, guys. I am currently editing this vlog. I have Chase coming into town this weekend, so I'm gonna vlog that, and I'm so excited. I love when he's in town. Um, but yeah, it was really fun at Mike's yesterday, just because he has such a like interesting job. I feel like people are so intrigued and like i was asking all these questions and stuff which is very similar to what i get with my job like people are very much interested in that kind of stuff hold on chase is telling me hey i'm vlogging do you want to say hi to the vlog yeah in my like work this, my this is chase and his element guys look at him he has like wait put the phone up <laughs> <gasps> all right so yeah anyway um it was just really cool to see that it was like behind the scenes if you will but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was so random <laughs> but uh i have some fun things coming up this weekend and i'm excited so i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching